Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom on this sultry late summer evening as I am watching Lucifer season three, episode 10. And we have met the sinner man. I don't think it's a really him. I still think it's Lieutenant. But whoever it is, is committed to the cause because they poked their eyeballs out with a pen and did it quietly enough that nobody heard. Because you would go, ow, <laughs> there's no way you could do it and not make a sound. And then we had a side thing, right? Okay, so Linda and Menadil getting together romantically. Have I been sensing the chemistry? Yes, since we saw it since season one. Do they each deserve to find somebody that brings them joy? Yes. So if they were real people, in the real world, I would say, go at it, you two. I hope you live happily ever after. But in the context of the story, I, at this point in time, prefer them being friends and companions and just having that non-romantic tension between them. Because there's a different vulnerability you feel with somebody who's a friend and somebody who is a romantic interest. You share different things. You feel different ways. There's different expectations before, during, and after. So I, at this point, I would like them just to be friends. If this was a last couple episodes of the whole series, hoo hoo, but this is a little too early for me. So I don't think the sinner man's gonna escape jail. Who's gonna bail him out? Chloe and Lieutenant saw him shooting at the fellas. Frankie Ferrante, yeah? Yes. I think he was still shooting at them when they arrived on the scene. So the man's still got to stay behind bars unless somebody bails him out and they do. Who is it? <laughs> so I am ready to get to it and I hope you are as well. So this is when I remind you that you can watch the full episode with me on Patreon where we're drinking our water and I have been um, having some cocktails. I am a cocktail of cocktails in it's fine <laughs> it's fine but this is also a good time for you to tell me what you are drinking you all have some fascinating recipes that i will attempt to try someday and also this is a good time to hit subscribe because why not so if you're ready i'm ready and let's get to it 911 what is your emergency please i need help he's gonna kill me please oh she has a nice car that she's running into and i know i'm distracted oh pumpkin grill why are we celebrating again? Well, isn't it obvious? Finally, Mays. Answers will be mine. Hmm. Right. Right. Yes, I'm with Mays. I'm sure a human jail will stop a soldier of God. She thinks it's a soldier of God. I can assure you, the only threat the sinner man poses from now on is that ridiculous name. Yeah, who gave him that name? Was it self-anointed? <laughs> Hard. Yes, always. Why don't I help you with your stick first? Waka, waka, waka. And he has it in the shape of an angel. Oh, Joint and a condom. Wow, that is quite the pinata. <laughs> the prisoner is in the house. I on the prize, no screw ups, and no one talks to him alone. Lucifer. I'm just surprised at how well he's holding up. It is his job. No, I mean, it's just, there's no way I could be that stoic if the sinner man had killed my brother. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, Chloe, maybe this wasn't your information to share. Holy bananas. He must totally need a hug. Chris ah! needs our support right now. I didn't know it wasn't common knowledge. Wait, this isn't even my secret to share. Nice to see you all again. What, too soon? <laughs> Why are they bringing him through the precinct that way? Don't worry. At this point, a confession is just icing on the cake. It's over. Is it? Is it? Good. Just in time for the main event. What's happening? Last time you talked to me, gouged his own eyes out. Yes. 
A minor inconvenience, especially for him. Now, truthfully, I think his eyes were gouged out before Lucifer went in the room. You can't seriously be suggesting that you're the impartial party here. I mean, he's clearly your Moby Dick, and we all know what happened to Captain Ahab. Felled by savage revenge, dragged to the bottom of the sea. Gosh, did they teach you nothing at cop school? I read Moby Dick six times. Oh, really? What happened on page 83? <laughs> Ella, the center man's phone from evidence. I'd pick up if I were you. Wait. Oops. In Too front late. of him? Well, you better hope it's not. In front of him. Please, please, please help me. Who is that? Wild guess. Accomplices. Accomplices. There's a gang involved. Maggie Cole, 26, lives in Echo Park. Tech tried pinging her cell, but the battery's gone dead. Is she related to Lucifer in some way? Because the other two were people he gift gifted favors to. Means we can save the life of poor doomed Maggie the far more expedient way. We are not letting the sinner man out of here. Uh, Unis, they checked out the parking lot at Maggie's apartment. No sign of her or her car. Ah, see? I'm telling you, Obi-Wan can't see me is Maggie's only hope. <laughs> what is Trixie doing coloring crime scene photos at a desk when we have a psychotic killer in custody? Well, she's done yes. wonders with that mangled corpse, though. Very artistic. What? But don't worry. I'm handling it, because I'm super dead. By giving her crime scene photos? Zoom in. Pretty good idea where Maggie spends her time. It's convenient. I know. Derby Divas versus the Blazing Banshees. It's Derby's most notorious rivalry. Oh, and, and Chloe's aware of this. Nice sausage. She's aware of this. Hello there. We're looking for some misleading information on a missing person. Mag <laughs> misleading. Misleading information. She ditched practice yesterday and she hasn't returned my calls since since she got into one doozy of a booby brawl with our blocker, Helena Handbasket. Helena Handbasket. These are as good as like stripper names and, and not stripper names, burlesque names. I was getting... <laughs> Burlesque and drag and stripper all squished in my head at once. Questions! Eat me! Yes, please. It is so skating now! And she's off! Chloe needs to strap on a pair of skates. A pair of skates and got her. <laughs> I can't form a sentence. It's always cherry bomb when it comes to Rolly Derby. One beer, please. Cheers. And forget the cough sounds. Two more, two more. No idea what. Ah, this is the sin bin. Okay. Ducked? What? No, I just roughed her up a bit. Roughed her up? Why? You know, after Faith Kill had that car accident, Maggie didn't deserve that position. She can't even snowplow. Uh, hi, Mrs. Bajinski. Wow. Um, well, sweetheart, you won't be staying with Mrs. Bajinski today. Or ever again. Oh. 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 How's the new job at the, uh, the DA's office? Dull. What's a girl got to do to get a nice grizzly murder or a few underage drug mules? I like you. You're funny. And you're <laughs> short. <laughs> sure, I should know how to talk to kids. Mommy lets me. That statement would never hold up in court. Decent poker face, though. Daddy, I have an idea. What does Chloe see? What powers do Cl Chloe, Trixie, what powers do Trixie have? Lucifer, we have to call forensics before we take the evidence. Well, Where's more of poor Maggie? How many? That's a Nova, right? How many? Oh, no, they're going to destroy that car. No. Sons of bitches. Bumpuses. No trace evidence means we still have no way of tracking Maggie. I can't believe I'm suggesting that. But he made it possible, sinner man, that they had to let him go. Just one question now. How do you suggest we get him out of here? 
first, you need the keys to holding. What, the same keys old stiff as a board Pierce has locked away in his office? Guess we'll need a distraction. Poor man, he's really going through a lot. Maybe a little Ella is exactly what the doctor ordered. But do you really think Miss Lopez will fall for such a blatant manipulation? Mm. Oh my god, I'm so in. How hard can it be to find one tiny key? Or for a tiny lab tech to trap a hardened six foot four lieutenant against his will. This planet seems fraught with with holes. Then I realized it wasn't about the hatchback. Mm. It wasn't. And where could they be? On him? I'm guessing. There's only one set of keys to the whole jail. <laughs> what you have to do is go up to that bomb tech and hand her this. This is what you want? The more important question is, what do you want in return? Even if my charm does work on the bomb tech, and who are we kidding? Of course it will. We still need someone to sell the big finish. Dan has just become the butt of all the jokes, haven't they? Seriously? Call the bomb squad! Everyone evacuate now! This seems way too difficult. My brain is not handling it right now. And they put the center man in that little case. Eat your heart out, George. Ah. <laughs> No, please. That actually worked. Wow. Well, it almost worked. Did you really think I was going to let you bust them out without me? Yeah, who was going to drive the getaway car? You don't have kids, do you? Actually, I do. They live with their father. That makes sense. What? Oh, oh, Trixie. Well, the truth is, they don't want to see me. You're the mom. You make the rules. What does powers do Trixie have? Are you and my dad having sex? Wow! It really is true how the other senses kick in once one is removed. Well, I can remove a few others if you'd like. He couldn't just tell them where she is. I see, I really think this is a trap that this accomplice is laying in wait. Why else would he lead us to the middle of nowhere? Well, I guess we'll just have to go nut to butt. Have Charlie do the foxtrot, cover each other's sixes and all that. You know? Hoo-ha! <laughs> what your service, man? Yeah, we don't talk like that. I hear something. I think Lucifer should just wing and fly over and spot her. <laughs> That would be something they weren't expecting. Maggie, hang on! Who's watching the Sinner Man? You're safe now, Maggie. You're gonna be okay. Where's the Sinner Where's the Sinner Man? <sighs> Did you both have to jump into the body of water? I was leaving the rink and he chased me. Who? What did he look like? He was wearing a mask. What type of mask? How would he have had enough time to rig the car with explosives? Um, he must have gone back and put the grenade in later. How did she know it was a grenade? We didn't mention a grenade. I abducted myself. Why? All I wanted was to be my team's lead jammer. I went to this guy who grants people favor. He just goes by the sinner man. Cause that sounds trustworthy. And the next thing I know, she's in a car accident. Right, I never wanted died. anyone to die. He was going to kill me too if I didn't do it. So now you're no longer the lead jammer, you're going to jail. Then who kidnapped Lucifer? No one. He wanted to be alone with him, so he kidnapped the sinner man. Mm. Just in time for the fun to begin. Ooh, where is this? This place is beautiful. There we go. <laughs> Much less creepy. <laughs> Poetic, isn't it? The man who desired freedom fell into his very own trap. Did he? Did he, though? I'm not going to tell you anything. Oh, yes. You, uh, you will talk. How? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I'll tell you what you need to do. First, you have to draw a pentagram. Sprinkle some powdered eye of newt. This sounds like BS. Who is this guy? And how does he know about Lucifer and whatnot? <laughs> like seriously, who is this guy? Freaking impossible to make it through that with a straight face. Especially with those googly eyes. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Punish a feeble blind man? Oh no, no, I wouldn't dream of it. All right, can't we can't say. <laughs> Meet hell's most brutal torturer. Did the sinner man factor maze into this plan? He's definitely human. Then how? How? I've pushed that guy to his limit. Anything else might kill him. You and I both know. Angels aren't allowed to kill humans, yes. Hmm. Or are they? Killing the sinner man is exactly what I need to do. Because that would send you to This may help. This is deeds. It's every place Lucifer owns in Southern California. Part of Espinosa's Lucifer files. Lucifer plants a bomb at my desk and I'm the creepy one. Um, that was me, sorry. That was a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea. There's over a dozen properties here. Yeah, that is a lot of, why so many properties? I think I know where they are. Because it's on Redemption Road or Vengeance Lane. But killing a human is Angel No-No's 101. Look at your brother, total power loss, and he only got murder adjacent. Mm -hmm. Right, that's right. You kill a human, one that he sent to do his bidding. Exactly. Did he? Did he? Would God send a man to kill a bunch of people? I guess it depends on the God you worship, but. Who he might take from me. Okay. He's going there. He's gonna go there. He said, imagine living in LA and not being able to enjoy the sunset. I'd just like Lucifer to bring a blind man to the place with the best view. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oldie but a goodie. <sighs> Beheading. <sighs> Honestly, can you at least try to look threatening? Right. <laughs> could draw angry eyes. <sighs> Slight improvement. <gasps> I'm right here. Hello, Marco! I... Oh, there's no glory in wrestling a starving bear. This plan is wackadoo. You're going to feed me? Well, just because I'm about to slaughter a man in cold blood doesn't mean I'm not civilized. Just means you're stalling. Because you know this is wrong, Lucifer. Perhaps you're a coward. I'll boil you alive. <laughs> Top most painful way to die, according to BuzzFeed. Right. How does Lucifer end up not going to jail? You're right. I don't have it in me to kill a human. Uh, no, no, wait. You have to do it. Yes, you supposedly believe in free will. Then honor my Why free do you will. Need me to do it. Why? Why? No! Yes. Pierce is in our man. And now Lu Chloe's going to be mad at Lucifer. And how does Lucifer not end up in jail? Pierce, I'm sorry. I know you didn't want it to end this way. You shouldn't end our It's the only way it could end. And how is Lucifer not arrested? <laughs> it was the cinnamon's plan to be snatched by me all along. He wanted to die. Pierce, smooth things over if that's what you're worried about. The official statement says that you were grabbed in an escape attempt. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's how they explain it. I had your back on this, Lucifer, and for whatever reason, you still felt the need to go behind mine. <laughs> wow. Hey. They spent a lot of time so together. Afternoon, well? afternoon, it's nighttime. Hey, uh, 
Azza, thank you for watching Tracy. Maybe we can go grab that coffee sometime. Dinner would be more romantic. It's okay by me. <laughs> you are the best wingman. <laughs> I just want to say, oh my god, you killed it. I mean, I just read the crime scene report and holy burrito bowl with your take down the bad dude heroics and- Lopez, just stop talking. Yeah, she was a little over the board, not the right time. But... His brother was a little kid? Well, I'm here. This couldn't have waited till morning. We're both familiar with the accomplice theory that our blind barbarian had someone working for him. What if the cinnamon was the one working for someone else? <gasps> oh, he's going there real quick. Here is Mr. Cinnamon as a child. <gasps> As a child. With a man that he seems very close to. Interesting birthmark. It's a very similar shape to your military tattoo. So? Well, so it stands to reason that this man would be very, very old by now. At least older. He'd have to be. <laughs> Immortal. An immortal crime boss. Just like you're the devil. So, as such, there's really only one way to... Oh my god, he's gonna stab Marcus. <laughs> Wow, Lucifer, you better hope you're right. done so well <laughs> I wonder why I didn't figure it out <laughs> the world's first murderer it's quite the moniker yet nowhere near as ridiculous as the cinnamon wouldn't you agree Kane so we went to Keen. You may as well pour me one too. Maybe it's the drinks talking. <laughs> How did Cain though become immortal? How did Cain as Lucifer calls him the world's first murderer. Get the gift of immortality. Or is it a curse? Because he said he also had to walk tortured. But he's killing other people. Apparently he hasn't stopped. Oh, I have questions. I have questions. Do I even begin to launch into them now? How and why? Why? I think the big question is why? Why here? Why now? Why? Why? Why this Marcus? Why this lieutenant? He had a, some sort of a history that Ella had heard of and had seen him in conferences and whatnot. And he's here now because of Lucifer. Now we can figure out why Lucifer. Big light for Moth to be drawn in. So then how did Mr. Stabby Stabby Eye Blind Guy get roped in? Unless he was somebody the Sinner Man gave a favor to. The Sinner Man. Who does give favors to people. So we had a reveal, but now I I need the why and the how. I need the how. I need the Perot reveal at the end of the mystery. And we've got lots more episodes to go. So there's no way this could be the end. Where do we go from here? Which means I need to watch the next episode now when I don't have time. Mm -hmm. 
So the sinner man being unworld, otherworldly. But Cain wasn't otherworldly. But he's in love. Okay. So instead of me sitting here for another three or four minutes doing the world one of why and the how and how does this make sense? I'm just going to say, ta-da, we had a reveal. What the fuck do we do with this information now? But wait. Was Sinner Man number one really Marcus's brother? Was he able? Oh. Oh, okay. No, I'm going. I'm going. Mm. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. We will leave it there. This was episode 10. Woohoo. Woohoo. Thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. What do I do with this information? Okay, so until next time, you are going to. Do something for yourself, even if it's just taking 10 seconds to be alone and breathe. Do something for yourself, drink some water, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.